Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul video for you all. Um, I'm filming a few haul videos today so if I look the same then that's why but this haul is going to be on. Are you ready for it? Sephora! Yay! Um, I have a friend that just recently came back from the States and they were like Laura do you want anything and I was like yes I do so I placed an online order and I shipped it to where they were staying and they just brought it back for me so that's how I got it but I'm sure like you can find a forward shipping service or something but anyway I'm gonna get into my little box of goodies I have used some of these things but not all of them and I did open up everything to make sure nothing was broken um, but yeah first thing that I picked up was the Tarte high performance naturals golden opportunity tart to go kit and basically it just comes with a small size park avenue princess bronzer and a small size self tanner so yeah that was ten dollars us on the site and i just thought i may as well try two things for ten dollars anyway so the next thing that i picked up was from carez and it is their face primer um it's called their cream de base powder lee something <laughs> basically it's their vitamin e face primer which is silicone free skin perfecting and moisturizing so that's good um i believe this might have been like 28 dollars, which i thought was a very reasonable price and yeah and i never knew that carez was made by johnson and johnson what do you know also from carez i picked up this little gift pack it was like 10 dollars off um, so it ended up being like $20 or something like that. Something like ridiculously cheap. But this is their Glazed and Gloss Lip Butter Glaze Collection. Which comes with four universally flattering shades. Um, I'll just open it. Hold on. So it basically comes with four lip butter glazes. I'm assuming these are the ones in the... Well, I know these are the ones in the tubes. I've opened them before. But basically, I love my Carez Lip Butter in the shade Jasmine. Shade. Scent. I don't know. But this is like the tube version. So I don't need to get like my hands in it. So I can actually take it out when I'm like going somewhere. Oopsie. So yeah, it's like the tube version of those. And it just comes in four different shades. Um, really quickly, they gave me a sample. Well, I think this was a hundred point perk or something like that, but I got a sample of the Urban Decay lip gloss and I got the shade Love Child. I haven't even like opened this yet. Let me have a look. Oh, how cute. It's a little baby. I love tiny lip glosses for when I go out and I haven't tried this before. You know when something has a smell, but you're not too sure if it's like what it is. That's this, but either way, that color is beautiful. Like, you know how they like, give you like little sizes and they like the colors are ugly as? This is not. This is so pretty. Okay, this I did open and it, well, I've opened all these things. So can you hear my shape? Whatever. Um, <laughs> so I picked up a Kat Von D. Really? Really, guys? Can you hear my sheep in the background? They're just like, yeah, basically. Um, so I picked up the Kat Von D. What palette is this? This is the True Romance Eyeshadow Palette. And the palette's called Ladybird. And the palette's called Ladybird. And basically it should be a palette of all matte shades. And it comes with a little eyeliner pencil. And I'm pretty sure that Kat Von D is exclusive to Sephora. But anyway... I want to open the packaging for you guys on camera. It took me ages to put it back together, but look at this. Ready? I don't know if you're going to think it's as amazing as I do, but whatever. Whee! So it comes in like this envelope. Like, how cool. Like, I just thought that was the most innovative way to package a product. Like, I know you're wasting a lot of paper. But seriously, that just means they put in the extra thought with this. So I'm so impressed so far. And the palette, may I just not say, it is gorgeous. Like, I don't think 
I don't think the lighting is going to do this justice, but basically it's just the most beautiful palette. I like a chick with like, yeah, whatever. Um, it's like a metal casing, and you push a button and it opens to be eight amazing shades, and you get a free pencil as well. This is in Immortal Love, and you get a, a decent sized mirror there if you can see that. And then I'll just cover it, and then you get eight amazing shades. I think you can get Kat Von D off Terraz, which basically just ships from Sephora to their warehouse to you. I'm not too sure how it works, but try Terraz if you're looking for that. I guess the next product is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. I bought mine in the shade Fair Sand, which is fair skin with yellow undertones, and that's basically me. Packaging just looks like this. Haven't used it yet. Still got its little seal thing on it, but... I'm looking forward to trying that one out and I'll definitely be doing a first impressions on that one. And just by looking through the little color hole thing, I think it's going to match me. Hopefully it does, because if it doesn't, then I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, a free sample that, like there was a little coupon code for it, was a sample size of the CC Cream by Bobbi Brown. Yeah, I got mine in the shade Pale Nude. I don't know if it's going to match me, but it was free, so... I can't really complain, decent size considering it was free, super happy I was able to get that. Um, another point perk that I got was the Glam Glow. Um, yeah, I don't think I need to talk about this much, but I basically got a deluxe sample size of that. So let's hope that this is good because I've heard nothing but good reviews of that stuff. So I'm glad to have got like it for free to try. Um, so I bought an eyebrow product, like, what is this world coming to? Like, Laura, what happened to your little mask of brow cakes? Still love those, but I want to try something new because I feel like, like, it's so repetitive, like, using that all the time. So I thought that I'd pick up this because it was $16 US. Um, this is the Clinique Brow Shaper, and I bought mine in the shade Charcoal. Basically, I have it in my eyebrows today with Benefit Gimme Brow, but basically packaging just looks like this super reflective and then out comes a drawer with your powder and two brushes so yeah so far I quite like the color and I don't think I own anything from Clinique so that's really good to try a new brand as well okay speaking of trying new brands last product I had to pick up a bronzer if you know me I always need to get a new bronzer so I picked up the makeup forever matte bronze powder soleil bronzing powder um, I got mine in the shade 20, which is the lightest. There's either shade 20 or 40, so I picked 20. Packaging just looks like this, super luxurious. It's made in France, didn't know that. And yeah, you get 10 grams of this product. And then here's the powder. I think it's going to be a really, really nice powder to use. Cannot wait to see how that goes. Kind of smells like sour worms. Whatever. <laughs> Okay guys, so that's the end of my Sephora haul. Um, yeah, I hope I didn't overwhelm you with products, but I'm super happy with everything that I've bought so far. So definitely let me know if you have any recommendations for if I have the opportunity to order Sephora again. Um, yeah, let me know down below. But yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye.